uh, Mile High Denver and their game against the Broncos on Sunday. They haven't won out there in 32 years. You were, what, my age back then? <laughs> so the Eagles are preparing for everything from the Broncos to, of course, that thin air. The Eagles could be a little thin up front in Denver come Sunday. Offensive lineman Andre Dillard got hurt in practice today. He's questionable, as is defensive end Josh Schwett due to a concussion. Jalen Hurts and the Eagles, they need to be on point Sunday against the Broncos, who allow the second fewest points in the NFL. Yeah, Denver's D is top notch. It's among the topics Hurts and coach Nick Sirianni have game planned for, and they have talked about this week. They meet every Friday to talk football and life. Jalen and I have a lot, in com a lot more in common than we probably even thought, uh, right? We both coach as kids, and um, we both love football. There's a, we have a lot of same types of music, uh, you know, pop culture, stuff like that. We got a lot more in common, than, but you don't learn that unless you get to, to know somebody. And so it's been fun. It's been fun just sitting in there. I look forward to that. Hopefully he does too, um, but I look forward to having that conversation with him every Friday. Flyer star Kevin Hayes, he's been on the campaign trail. Listen to this. He's begging just about everyone you can imagine to return from his injury on this road trip. While Hayes is out tonight in Carolina, he could be back tomorrow. The Flyers could have Hayes and Ryan Ellis as early as tomorrow. As far as tonight in Carolina, Carter Hart and the boys trying to bounce back after being shut out Wednesday. This is a tough test tonight for the Flyers. Only one team in hockey has been better than the Hurricanes. They've been one of the best teams in the league for the last you know, three, four years, and uh, and seems like an older team. Um, guys know their role, and uh, obviously coached by a pr uh, pretty good coach that you know um, lets them or tells them to play the right way, and they always uh, play a hard game. Um, you know, so we have to have our best. Villanova may want to have their best tonight in college hoops. Jay Wright and Villanova with a huge game tonight against second-ranked team in the country. They better drink some coffee. The fourth ranked Cats will face UCLA at 11.30 tonight. Nova with a late night game on the West Coast as they look to start their young season 2-0. They've been out in LA most of the week. Hopefully they're used to the time difference by now. Wright has told his team they better bring it tonight. You know, there's so many things that impress me about this team, but their depth is incredible. I mean, they've got guys who are like ninth men, 10th men, um, who played in the NCAA tournament and played in Sweet 16s, Final Eights. Um, it's, it's really impressive. College football, Penn State can bounce back from a rough stretch with a big win against ninth-ranked Michigan tomorrow in Happy Valley. It's a game, of course, they've had circled on their calendars all year. These are the games why people choose Penn State. Um, we get to play Michigan at our spot. Um, it's going to be a fun game. It's a long awaited game. Everybody likes these games. Um, I'm excited. Penn State looks to win their third straight over the rivals. Michigan tomorrow at noon right here on 6ABC. And tonight, check out a playoff edition of High School Huddle on 6ABC at 1130 after Action News with Jim Gardner. And of course, Biggest game of them all, perhaps, Garnet Valley, undefeated, trying to keep it going tonight in the playoffs. Look forward to it. Thank you, Jeff. All right.